Sunnah before fall, then obligatory, and then sunnah after fall, okay? Okay. Are you following? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, let's start. Before we can see what we have to pray in daily prayers, in terms of obligatory, in terms of sunnah prayers, who are going to quickly define what is obligatory prayer? Prayer obligatory. Who is going to define what is obligatory means? Uh, Remember two days ago we discussed uh, what is obligatory? Uh, yes, uh, Fatima. Uh, uh, yeah, Hibad. Wow, give me a high five. Give me my boy. Uh, okay, so Hibad said it right that Obligatory things are those things in Islamic law. If we do those things, Allah will reward us. But if we don't do this, Allah, Allah will potentially punish us. Okay? okay. Uh, what is Sunnah, Fatima? Sunnah is a prayer before Salah. No, no. What is Sunnah in terms of Islamic law? Obligatory, we know this. Now, what is Sunnah? We discussed two days ago. What is Sunnah? Or what is recommended? Uh, sunnah recommended. Is a prayer. If you pray, you get good deed, but if you don't pray, you won't get bad deed. Good job, Fatima. So if you miss Sunnah prayer, you won't get bad deed necessarily. But if you will pray, then you will going to get a lot of good deed. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. 
So which one is more important, Fart or Sunna? Fart. Yes. But it, does that mean that you have to miss Sunna all the time? No. Good job. Let's start. Should we start with Fajr or Aisha? Fajr. Fajr in the? Morning. Zohar in the? Noon. Asr in the? Afternoon. Maghrib at the? Sunset. Isha at the? Night time. Isha at the? Night time. These are? The five daily prayers. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. So, start with Fajr. So, now before Fajr. Do you know how many rakat are there in Fajr? Mm. Uh, two. 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 So, we're talking about obligatory right now, okay? Okay. So, we have to pray two rakat in Fajr. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, Fajr, okay? In obligatory. In obligatory. Okay? Right. Very good. Then, in for Zohar Salah, how many rakat are there? Four. Hey, bye. Four? Okay, good job. Great. For us, sir? For us, sir, four. Five, five. Asar, Do you agree? Yeah. Good job. Okay, Hibban, tell me for Margaret. Hibban, tell me for Margaret. Margaret? How many rakat are there? Three. Good job. For Isha, four. Great, Fatima. And for Isha? Four. Give me hat. Give me fist pump. Okay. Oh, yeah. So basically, two for Fajr, four for Zohar, four for Asr, three for Maghrib, and four for Isha. These are obligatory prayer. It yeah. means if yes, yeah. it means if you will miss any of these, you will get punished. You might be punished from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to protect us from the punishment. Say Amin. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us Jannah. Say Ameen. Ameen. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us a lot of gifts in Jannah. Say Ameen. Ameen. Order. That we are oh, Allah. 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 Okay, now let's start. So now before Fawd, if focus on Salat al Fajr, do you pray or do we have to pray any Sunnah prayer before Fajr prayer? Yes. Good. How much? Two. Good job, mashallah, mashallah, Fatima and Hibban. Mashallah, Okay, so two, Sunnah so before? Fajr. Good job. Do we have to pray any Sunnah in Fajr after obligatory prayer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. We don't have to pray. Any sunnah, remember this, remember this, Ibn and Fatima. We do not have to pray any prayer after Fajr prayer, period. Yes, if you didn't pray this sunnah here before prayer, and somehow you prayed for salah, and then you say, Oh, I didn't pray sunnah prayer, I want to get that extra reward. So you can pray this prayer here. You can. But once you pray this prayer here, Yes. And then you already prayed obligatory for prayer. Yes. Then there is no, no pray. prayer. No prayer. Yeah, yeah, you can make a line. Minus, minus. Okay, is it clear? Yes. Okay. For the heart. <laughs> okay. And when do you pray for your salah? Uh, in more in, in morning. morning. Early morning. Early morning. Early morning. Sunrise. Sunrise. Alright. Then comes to Wahar prayer. Wahar prayer. How many obligatory rakat are there in Hibban? Four. Hibban. Oh, you're in Hibban. I didn't know. I thought you were Fatima. Four. Four. Good job. So, Fatima. Yeah. How many sunnah do we have to pray before Wahar prayer? Two. Two or four? Four. Four or two? Two. Two or four? Four. <laughs> okay. Basically. Two. Two. Either two. Or four. Or four. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever time you have. Just down for a second. Whatever time you have. If you have two three minutes, you can pray two. If you have five ten minutes, you can pray four. Either way. Is it clear? Yeah. Good job. 
Oh yeah. So two and four. Oh okay. yeah. You prayed all day for his heart beer, but after four rakah, uh, how much do you have to pray sunnah after zohar prayer? And yes, how much? <laughs> yes. Two. Iban. Two. Good job. Mashallah. Mashallah. So in Fajr, you pray two sunnah before Fajr, two originally obligatory prayer, no sunnah afterwards. In Bohar, either two or four, based on the time and based on your tiredness, then four obligatory is all prayer, and then two sunnah. 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 Okay. Now let's come to the Asar prayer. Tell me. Good job. So after after sun, uh, after Asr period there is no sunnah. For original obligatory it's four rata. Before there is no recommended sunnah, but sometime, sometime Prophet Muhammad used to pray four rata. Sometimes. But It's not recommended. No, it's recommended, but it's not routine sunnah. So you don't have to pray this all the time. Okay. So I will write a dash, but I will say four sometimes, okay? Is it clear? Yeah. So actually, I'll remove this sometime four so that it won't create confusion. But remember this that sometime Prophet Muhammad used to pray four, but it's not routine sunnah. So Is it clear? Yeah. That's but awesome. Four so basically, the four rakah of Allah Kuruhi, that's it. Yeah, sometimes you can pray. See, if you will pray, will Allah, have, will Allah become happy? Yeah. Yes. How many will Yeah. But do you have to pray as a routine prayer? No. No. Is it clear? Just say. I think I say, Yeah. Okay, let's come to the Maghrib. Uh, okay. Maghrib, we have to pray three rakah for yes. the Allah Kuruhi. Do you have to pray before Maghrib? Uh, yes. No. No. Is it clear? Nine. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. If sometime you have time after the azan and before the salah, Prophet Muhammad used to pray two rakah, but it's not one of the routine prayers. Remember this. After three rakah, hiban, hiban, hiban only. After three rakah, do you have to pray sunnah after Maghrib prayer? No. Yes. You have to. I didn't need cameras. Oh, now thank you. Oh okay. no. So sunnah so after the first prayer? Yeah. Two. Okay, so let's do the division. Two. Fajr, two before? Two. And after? Minus. No, no, not minus. No prayer. No, no prayer. prayer. Then go ahead. Before fart, before two obligatory? Or four. Two or four. four. After obligatory? Two. Two. Asar. Neither before nor after. Maghrib. Neither before. No, it's no before, but after we have to pray? Good job. Isha For Isha, there is no prayer before and after two. Is it clear? Good job. So, can you count <coughs> Fatima? Can you count the daily routine sunnah prayers? How many rakah we have to pray? Total? Yeah. Yeah. Hiban also you can count. Leave obligatory prayer. Only sunnah. How about two or four my cafe with the hard key prayer man? Count as two. Okay. Two. Good job, mashallah. So, 10 daily. 10. Good job, Fatma. Daily routine prayer. 10. Okay? And if you consider this 4 instead of 2, Hibban, then it will be? 12. 
Good job. 12. So either 10. Or either 12. Based on the time you have. These are the daily routine sunnah prayers. Sunnah prayers. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ban, can you, yeah, you can close your book. Hey, you can come here. Come here. Yes, if I'm going to teach us and you'll be students. Hey, Pan. Um, hey, Pan. Can you, can you teach us how many Sunnah prayer daily we have to pray and is it before obligatory or after obligatory prayer? It's before and after. Okay, can you explain uh, in Fajr? In Fajr too. So in Fajr too, is it after Sunnah prayer, after Fard prayer, right? No, it's before. Okay, so in Fajr we have to pray two Raka Sunnah? Yeah. Before. Okay, then? In Dahar we need to pray two or four. Good job. And two, after. Good job. So you can pray two or four or you have to pray six before? Two or four. Good job. In Asar prayer? You can't pray before. You can? You can't. You can't. Uh, I won't say you can't. I would say there is no daily routine prayer. But you can pray. Because we can pray whatever you want. But we are talking about the habit of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, right? Yeah. That's the Sunnah prayer. So there is no routine Sunnah prayer before or after Asar. Is it clear, Hiban? Yeah. Then in Maghrib? You can't pray before, you can pray after. Good yeah. job. And Isha? You can pray after too. Great job, mashallah. And two are the other day. Great job, Ibn. Give me that. Yeah, this is, 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 this Yeah. And no sunnah after. Good job. And then for Zohar? For Zohar, you, if, you, if, if you have time, you could pray for. If you have less time, you could pray too. After, you have to pray too. Good job. And as I said, you, you neither can pray before or after. But if you want, you can pray, but it's not daily routine prayer. Remember this, okay? There is no for before for prayer. There is no sunnah before for prayer. There is no sunnah before for prayer after two. Good job. In Asia, there is no sunnah before. No routine sunnah before. No routine sunnah before for prayer after two rakah. Yes, we die. Wait, wait, wait. Last, last thing is remaining. Last thing is remaining. Sit, sit, sit. After all this, after all this, after you pray two rakah routine prayer, there is one prayer which you have to pray. What the? What the? Wait, uh, it's either one yud raka or three raka or five raka or seven raka. And all this goes with yeah. one. Yes. Um, we can pray one raka it will be still sufficient. Sometimes if you want to pray three raka it will be sufficient. Uh, it depends on the quality of the prayer. Even if you pray one or three with the good recitation, with the good focus, thinking that Allah is looking at me, you will get more reward than just praying at seven and you are not paying yeah. attention. Basically, it's about paying attention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the Hebrew, you have to pray regardless. But in Sunnah prayer, if you pray this two rakah of Zohar, and pay more attention in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you pray two rakah, and if you pay more attention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and if you pray four rakah without paying attention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will get more reward in which one? Two. Good job, remember this. Because it's about changing the life. Yes, Fatima. Every night we have to pray with her. It's, it's also a routine prayer, but it's highly recommended. If this sunnah you don't pray, it's okay. But with her, Prophet Muhammad always used to pray. It's not obligatory prayer, but it's highly, highly, highly sunnah recommended. Highly
हाई डी म्यूजिक इसमें रोज पढ़ते थे इन कितने को डी मिलता है मेनी थाउजेंड आर ओन होगा ओके लेट्स सेन इट इस इंशाल्लाह ओके इंशाल्लाह फिर जो है तो ऑलरेडी डन इंशाल्लाह जो आपको मिला हो सारे सलाम वाले कुमार